Hey guys, welcome to Animation Juice. My name is Richard and it's Quick Tip Tuesday, which means it's time for another design quick tip. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can quickly use textures in your uh, character designs or any uh, kind of digital painting to uh, get that lovely hand-drawn look, but also it adds a, a nice, uh, fa a different facet to your work. Uh, and generates a lot of appeal and it is so easy to do and so quick to do. So uh, let's jump in. So here we are in Photoshop and here is a, a digital painting uh, that's been done in Photoshop and currently this has no uh, texture applied to it. There's a little bit of tooth in the brush but that's uh, that's the brush side of things. We're going to look at how to apply a texture onto this to make it look like it was drawn or painted on uh, a canvas or um, traditional um, tactile medium. So the way that we do this is if I go to this window here you can see that I've got three textures here. I've got this uh, sort of chalky, um, splattery one here. I've got a more uh, crayon on uh, canvas, thick tooth paper here, and uh, I've, I've got a um, another paper texture here, slightly darker and slightly softer. Now, all of these textures. Uh, I've just uh, drawn I did an A3 sketchbook and just used some for this texture for, for example I just used some chalk and just literally washed the uh, whole uh, paper with this chalk and you know scraped a bit of the dust onto it to get the sort of the uh, the dotted pattern uh, and it's quite rough and ready and in fact that I found that the better the more rough and ready it is the better the effect usually comes out. Now in these other textures this was just a crayon that was um, drawn onto uh, thick tooth A3 paper and uh, this one here, this one was just another sketch pad that uh, had a thick tooth to it with no crayon or anything at all. And these were all just taken with my uh, with a camera, with uh, a high resolution camera. You could use your iPhone or your smartphone. Whilst the resolution is quite important, it's good to have as high resolution as you can. The most important thing is to have uh, just this the texture itself. I mean, this one's quite blurry, but it'll work wonderfully, as you'll see in a second. So when, you, when you've got your texture, and you've taken a picture of it and imported it into Photoshop, all you have to do is go onto your drawing, paste it onto a new layer, uh, just by copying and pasting it will automatically go onto a new layer and then go up to uh, blend mode at the top of your layer stack and turn the layer mode to soft light now soft light is the one that I usually use and look at that it's just instantly uh, given that really hand-drawn uh, sketchbook look and all you've literally done is turn the layer to soft light. Now you can, if that's too much, you can uh, adjust the opacity of that layer to uh, get it to your taste. You may only want a slight subtle hint of texture in your work. But it, it adds a really nice grain and tooth to the drawing and just adds another dimension and another facet of appeal to the drawing. Now that was our first texture, if we just quickly do the exact same thing with our other textures, just select it all, copy it, paste it into your drawing, stretch it a little bit to fit the image, and then again go to layer mode, soft light. Now this one is quite light and uh, if this will require that the opacity be knocked down quite a bit. If, a, if the soft light doesn't work uh, as well, you can turn to uh, overlay, and again, knock the opacity down a little bit. And if we switch it on and off, you can see it's added just a, a nice tooth to the drawing. And sometimes multiply 
is a, a, a blend mode that you might want to use. Either of the, those three, multiply, soft overlay and soft light, are usually the ones that I use for uh, textures. But 80% of the time it really is soft light. Um, it really is just about playing with the blend modes until you get something that you like. And let's just do it on the final one. Copy, paste, stretch it to fit. And turn the start off with just turn it to, to soft light and see how that works. And that it's so subtle if we just turn it on and off. It's so subtle, but it's got instantly. It just feels like it's a soft, uh, canvasy, uh, high-quality paper texture to your uh, character design. And even you get some uh, lighting for free as well with when you add the textures. You can see that the this uh, part of the uh, texture is lighter than the, the the bottom edge, and that's merely that's just to do with um, the lighting in the room at the time I took the picture. And this is actually one of my favourite ones to use because it really is so soft and almost you don't really notice it; you just feel the effect of it, and it feels really nice. It's so quick to do and it adds a great dimension and a great quality, traditional quality to your work. So I hope, you, I hope that's been useful for you. So that's it for this episode of Quick Tip Tuesday. Uh, I hope it's shown you how you can really, really quickly add a lovely uh, texture and an added facet and dimension to your character designs and to your digital work in general. It's a great tool and it's so easy to use so I highly recommend using that. If you like this video make sure to let me know by leaving a like and comment and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest videos as they come out. So until next week's Quick Tip Tuesday, have a great week guys and I'll see you later.